guys mr allen c here i wanted to take a look at the sally spa miami hot tub now i've had this for i'd say about nine months and i've had it in the winter when there was a couple feet of snow i've had it in the spring had it in the summer and now fall has come and i've had multiple inflatable hot tubs some of them didn't work out so good this one it's just awesome i love the design i like that it's black and it looks you know modern and cool uh you can strap these shut i don't always do that because I'm in it every day. It's incredible, it's holding up good. Right now I got it at 104 degrees. You can switch between Fahrenheit and Celsius. Uh, right here's the bubble button, I'll show you that with the cover off. But I just wanted to show you guys, these hold up good. Uh, it's been about nine months. Right here we have a drain, so you'd unscrew that and then you'd pop something inside to drain it. Uh, I do that about once or twice a year and put new water in there. Let's go ahead and pull the cover off. We'll do it one-handed here for you. Do I have it strapped? Nope, I don't. So, I'll show you all you need to know. So I take that off, you got the glorious, clean chlorine smell. And, sell you spawn this side as well. If you guys have any questions on this stuff, I'm gonna try to answer them in this video. So, take a look. Um, my wife threw this in here for fun. It's a thermometer from the dollar store. Here's a floaty. So what these are, we just put a couple chlorine tablets in these and let it float. And then I'll show you the chemicals I use. The easiest way to do it, it's just a tablespoon of this, a tablespoon of that. I'll show you which ones they are. You do it like, you know, once or twice a month. That's what I do. You can do it more if you want, but mine stays pretty clean. Uh, we'll go ahead, put the bubbles on. So typically when you walk up to this, I'm locking it right now. Typically it's gonna be locked. So you'll hold this until that paddle lock button goes away, that light right there, and it's unlocked. So you can put a timer on. I've never used that in my life, to be honest. You can adjust the temperature. Uh, max is 104, which is just perfect. It's really, really warm sometimes. In the summer, you want it a little cooler. Here's the bubble button, check it out. And it blasts, I mean, it really blasts. The bubbles are a lot. A lot of times I like to sit in there too with the bubbles off and just chill. So I'll shut those bubbles off. But yeah, you know, people want to know if these last, if they last. And uh, this has been nine months. This has been the best one I've had, the most sturdy. No issues, no leaking air or nothing like that. Uh, right here, this twists off underwater. And you can pull it out and unscrew it. And a filter will be in there a little filter i'll show you what those look like they look like this and uh i just bought a whole box you know because i want to keep it clean and i don't want to worry about reordering them and it's really nice i use these i'll try to link these to the amazon video here uh they're super nice and then it's good to have this i finally found this new one i'm using it's called spa pier you get this and you get this other spa up here. I think they sell these two together. And the, these bottles last a long time. So I label them all smart. So right here it says two tablespoons. It's just powder in there. And then this one it says half a tablespoon. There's powder in there as well. So you put those in at the same time while the bubbles are blowing. And uh, it just keeps it clean and perfect. It just, the water looks beautiful. And then uh, these chlorine tablets, I like to leave one or two in that floaty thing I showed you. So let's see, these are HTH chlorine tablets. I think any chlorine tablets on Amazon will work. Here's my spoon, I labeled it poison hot tub because these chemicals are harsh. You don't want to reuse a spoon, but it's good to have my measuring tool there. So that's what I'm using here. If you value your privacy, I highly recommend this. Um, I used it a lot in the winter and spring. And then when it got hotter, I took it off because I like a nice breeze, but it even has a window and stuff. This clips to where the hot tub cover clips, and it's actually made for that uh, Sally Spa. So it's amazing. It holds up. I've had this for about eight months, and I probably used it about four or five months. And I'm just keeping it in my patio here for now. Also, I got a little net here. It's good to net it out, you know every now and then. The noise you hear, that's coming from the AC unit, so that's not the hot tub. Uh, here's that cool Sally Spa logo. 
a couple drink holders this flows down and uh, yeah let's say you want to do some maintenance on this let's say it gets really gross you didn't take care of it at all uh, what you can do is you can unscrew here and pull this up and uh, let the water all come out and then you can also unscrew these these are the air pumps so you'd want to turn it off first you unscrew these and that water will also flow out of those then it'll empty you can wash it up if it's really dirty and then let's say it deflated a little after like a year or two uh, you actually connect it comes with a special attachment that hooks onto the, one of these i think it hooks onto this one that blows the bubbles so when it's all unhooked you'd hook it to this run the cord to here and it pumps it up so that's really cool then you seal it back up and reconnect it and put fresh water in we got handles here heavy duty obviously you're not trying to lift it or nothing when it's got water in it but there are handles so again these are the straps also used for that sunshade i showed you and i got this little uh little table it's kind of cool you can put ice and like drinks in there let me see if i can get it open so it lifts up, you can lock it in place with that right there. You can put ice and drinks in there. I haven't really done that, but I sure have used it a lot sitting in the hot tub. Like, I'll mount it like that, or I'll put it down like that, and just, you know, have some beverages of my choice, um, or maybe have some of my wife, some beverages in the hot tub. Let's see what else we do in here. All right, now we're in my bathroom where I keep this, but the other thing I really recommend for the hot tub is one of these waterproof pouches. That's if you want to be on your phone. I know the hot tub's for relaxing, but I stay in there a long time and I work on my phone. So uh, I guess this is by Unbreakable. It's a waterproof pouch. It opens up, you drop your phone in there, and it works for both my phones. I got a Z Flip and a Samsung Note, and a, yeah. So it works good with multiple phones. You just put one in there, you seal these, water tight and then you'll have your phone in there so you'll be able to it's going to be solid with your phone and then you're able to use your phone in the hot tub you can drop it let it sink to the bottom doesn't matter these are awesome i picked up a few of these i'm always using them so yeah that was a deep dive into the ultimate salu spa hot tub guide and this is the salu spa miami i'm sure they make other ones i like this design and look at that cool bottom it's really soft like something nice about this versus a hard hot tub is the comfort level the bottom's really thick and padded and when you lay back these are so solid and soft you know it beats laying on hard plastic i guess the only thing i missed that i also got for it because i want to take good care of it is this hot tub mat right here so um i don't know if that's why i'm having such good luck with no issues with this hot tub but yeah definitely would recommend a hot tub mat since it's inflatable you don't want it on rough concrete with your weight bouncing around in there right so that's my ultimate setup guide guys i hope you like it i did this video because i got such a good response on my other one and i didn't really go thorough so i thought i'd really deep dive for you guys have a great day Bye bye